We have a tendency when we read the Great Commission to start from, you see what I am saying, start a little too late instead of reading the whole context. We should never separate verse from verse. We need to read the whole context. How can we do God's work in human power? How can we, in a spiritual war, fight with human weapons? For spiritual war, you need spiritual weapons. Otherwise, no wonder that we try hard and we have no success. No wonder that we apply strategy after strategy, method after method. We work hard, we spend money, energy, and yet no results. Something is missing. And I hear people, there is no power, Pastor. There is no power. Well, my God has power. That's the reason he says, Zechariah chapter 10, at the time of the latter rain, pray for the latter rain. Another translation says, pray for the latter rain at the time of the latter rain. Same thing. Or Zechariah chapter 4, it says, not by might, nor by power, but by my we need to pray for the latter rain. We need to pray for the Spirit. If you want to do God's work, you need God's power. Jesus told the disciples, very clear, we read the verses. He says, it is better for you if I go, because if I go, I am going to send you the Comforter. And He will lead you in how many things? In all. The Comforter is going to lead you in all. Again and again and again. For instance, I'm going to give you another part of the Great Commission. When it starts, you see again and again the same thing, the same thing. And I could give you the Bible verses from the study that I usually present. Let me give you an example. The women go at the tomb to, to, to some balms for Jesus' body. You remember? And the angel is there. And he says, what are you looking for? We are looking for Jesus. He's been resurrected. He's not here. And then the angel says... Go and tell everybody, the Great Commission, or he says, come and see, then go and tell. I don't know if you follow me. What does the angel say? Come and see. Ellen White talks about that quite a lot. She says, we will never be able to tell before we see. You cannot be in the court of law. You cannot go to the court and be a witness and say, somebody told somebody who told somebody who told me. You are not a witness. In order to, to be admitted as a witness, you should have seen it yourself. Then you are a witness. How can you tell others about Christ when we don't experience Christ? How can we give others power when we miss the power? The two demoniacs that Jesus healed, can we follow you? And Jesus says, go back and tell everybody what you have seen. John says, what I have seen, that's what I tell you. There is no way to help people experience Christ before we experience Christ. The reason we have no power is that we don't understand the first part of the Great Commission. Come and see. You experience it. Then you have something to tell. And by the way, people can argue with theology, but nobody can argue with your life experience the transformation that you have been through is the most powerful sermon. 